So today's proceedings kicked off with the second General Assembly and delegates had the chance to listen to law enforcement officials from around the world. That our flag, it was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave. I want to take a moment to recognize IACP life members. Life membership in the IACP is a, a significant honor. It shows dedication and commitment to our organization and to our profession. So at this time, I'd ask that life members of the class of 2012 to please stand and be recognized. Thank you all for your dedication to the law enforcement profession and your loyalty and allegiance to the IACP. The IACP is pleased to once again hear from the head of the French National Police. It's a great honor for me to speak to you. I thank you very, very much. It gives me great pleasure to meet in the United States colleagues from all of the, the world during the annual High ACP conference in San Diego. I am pleased to bring greetings on behalf of the 150,000 French police officers and agents working within the national police. Thanks for your hospitality and above, above all, thanks for your friendship, your kindness, your cordiality. Now, if there was ever a time for us to benefit from the collective knowledge of IACP, this is it. A tough economy and declining tax revenues have brought enormous pressures to bear on police agencies across our country. A 2011 U.S. Department of Justice study found that, quote, the Great Recession has changed the face of American policing. Each of us, in our own way, has had to come to terms with this reality. The New York City Police Department has 6,000 fewer sworn officers in its ranks than it had 11 years ago. We're here at IACP this week in part to learn from one another's experiences and to stay out in front of the issues that will affect all of us.